What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated both Chantal and Marshall of the Elite Four, and now it is time for us to take on the next two trainers, which would be Grimsley and Caitlyn. I just don't know which one is which, because, guys, come on, it's been a while. I've, uh, I haven't been here, and it looks like we are in, uh, Caitlyn's? No, it's Grimsley's! Ah, oh, crap, Baskets, I hate Grimsley. Okay, this is definitely a dark type area. Yeah, it's definitely a dark type area. Definitely, definitely a dark type area. You guys know where that reference is from? You are old like I am. And uh, he is a user of uh, of dark type Pokemon. So we're going to have to use uh, crap baskets. We're going to have to use our dark type Pokemon right here. All right, let's go. Bring it on. Oh, and wow. Okay, all right. So he doesn't want us to leave. What will be determined here is which of us can absorb the opponent's uh, light and shine. But who will decide that? It shall be I, Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty be to be your opponent. Alrighty. Here comes the techno music. Yeah, buddy. And Grimsley, looking all cocky and everything, ready to battle us. Alright. Maximum effort. Let's get it. Here comes his Lightbird. Alright. Leopard, I don't like you, you don't like me, but here comes the almighty Shadar. Let's go. High jump kick. And yes, I did teach Shadar, uh, what was it called? Uh, toxic. Did I make the mistake of, uh, oh, crap baskets. Okay, I may have made a big mistake right here. Okay, never mind. Did I make the mistake of taking away, uh, what was it called? Uh, what was his move? I don't even know. Okay, so we get the Moxie. We're going to sweep. Let's go. Here comes a Scrafty. Bring it on. All right. We got Scrafty versus Scrafty. Is mine faster? Yes, it is. And it is still super effective against fighting type Pokemon. Gattaca. That is how you do it. And here we go. More Moxies. We are not going to stop. And here comes a B-Sharp. Or B-Sharp. B-Sharp? B-Sharp? Is it B-Sharp, guys? I'm sorry. And here comes another high jump kick for the win. Yeah, buddy. And guess what? More Moxie. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. So we are four times powerful. This is going to get ugly against a Crocodile right here. And... Wow. Okay. Way to, way to take one level away from our, our mighty uh, Moxie. So here comes a high jump kick. But this guy is faster than us. And that Earthquake will, mit will hit us pretty hard. But the high jump kick for the win... Shadar, victorious. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And, well, it's a clean sweep. Grimsley, you can go suck it. The champ is here, guys. Boy, was I glad, or am I glad that I, uh, I, I what was it called, trade my Pokemon? Because this, this would have been ugly. Anywho, he's going to be like, whether or not you get to fight or at a full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none, uh, none of that matters. Only results matter. And a loss is a loss. See, victory shines like a bright light. And right now, you and your Pokemon are shining bright brilliantly. Okay. So, we got one more trainer to take on, and that is Caitlyn herself. Again, you don't have to go to the same order as I am, guys. You can go any order you want, and we're going to be using another Max Potion right here. Now, Caitlyn is a user of Psychic-type Pokemon. In this generation, you're going to have to go with, uh, with a Dark-type Pokemon. There's just one little issue, and that is Shadar is also a Fighting-type Pokemon, so it doesn't have that kind of coverage. So, let's go right ahead and meet our destiny and wow oh wow i should have gone here first look at that okay all right it's looking beautiful look at that okay all righty i'm gonna walk ahead and wow okay i like this one she wins she wins in the whole entrance thing i vote for her and wow a white lotus flower okay this chick knows how to make an entrance look at that oh too bad i'm gonna have to beat her Holy crud. Okay, Caitlin, let's do this. It's me who appeared when the flower opened up. You, standing over there. You look like a train, a Pokemon trainer with strength and kindness. What a look for my opponent is a superb strength. I'm counting on you. Techno music on. Here we go again, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking on the sleepy Caitlin. Okay. Time to kick some butt, take some names. And look at this. She's got butterflies, like, on her. Oh, wow. Okay. I like her. I like her. 
So here it is. She is going to be coming out with her Musharna. And this is going to be a little bit of a difficult challenge just because, well, we got a Shadar as a fighting type Pokemon, but here comes a Crunch attack. And that will nearly take away this Pokemon. And because of, well, I think I wanted to use Charge Beam, so here we go. Crunch attack yet again. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Musharna. Okay. All right, Shadar. You're owning these two people, and yes, you have grown to level 58. And is learning Focus Punch. Now, Focus Punch right here is a very powerful move. 100% accuracy, 150 power. There is just one little drawback to that, and is the user focuses its mind before la la launching a power or punch. It will fail if the user hit is hit before it is used. So it pretty much makes it a 50-50 attack. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna use it at the time for the time being because yeah, I'd rather get. I'd rather hurt myself than get hit myself. You know what I mean? So here comes a Reuniclus, and uh, well, let's go straight for a Crunch attack. Here we go. Since we already got Moxie, it is a physical attack, and there goes Reuniclus. Oh, this has become the Shedar show, featuring Shedar. Alrighty, come on, bring it. Here comes Sigalift. I'm going to take this risk because I am strong. I am mighty. The mighty Shadar comes in with a crunch. And here comes an air slash attack. And that really, that, that, that hurt us a lot. But with two plus power, and there you go. Sigalift has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All righty. We get some more powers, and uh, Sigh of the Torrent throws to level 65. Gothitelle is about to come out, and uh, thankfully this Pokemon is uh, yeah, it's a little slow. And, well, I can't believe it's come through this! I must have gotten complacent. Yes, you have. Here we go, Crunch Attack. And Gothitelle is strengthening up its physical and special attack. Or, wait, that's a, that, okay, phys or the special de attack and defense. And because of that, we have won Shadar. All by himself has defeated both Grimsley and Caitlyn. Yeah, buddy. And, well, there it is, guys. We have defeated all four trainers of the Elite Four. I am happy. Oh, I am happy. Somehow, you managed to defeat the entire Elite Four of the Pokemon League. Check the statue in the, situ the center of the plaza for the way the to the champion's room. Yes, the champion. This is going to be a first time, guys. A first time for everything. Because in the next episode, yes, the next episode, I am making this suspenseful. You guys have to wait. We are going to be taking on the Pokemon League champion herself, and that is Iris. And trust me, guys, I do not like her. Not one bit. She has a team, and I am going to mess her up. Yes, I am going to mess her up. Anywho, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.